My name is Valerie Tooth and my company name is Adoki Academy. 50 mini games in the first version and we'll continue adding new stuff. And the way we've designed it is that it looks like a like a school. So if you ring the bell, they'll come. <laughs> To be fair, I could do this in your other apps. Yes, we've repackaged a lot of, of existing... Will your app still be for sale? Yes. No, like this. But see how it's counting the number of tries? So it gives you the your aim. Seven is the minimum. And we have done a whopping 14. So right. with each activity, the child gets points that he can use in the store to um, customize their school. Everything reacts to the child's touch so they can play around. You can bring up any of the avatars at any time and a little animation starts. This is an activity that we actually um, do in Montessori schools where you need to change the water from the fish tank, right? So. Here it says, step one, fill up the pot. Step two, take the fish. Step three, clean the tank. Then fill it up with water and put the fish back in again. And he's a happy fish and you can feed it. We've designed this so that it, kids also get a playful experience and reproduce. It's very important in Montessori that children reproduce what adults do and what they do in, in everyday life. So here, I, um, my avatar is hungry, so he wants to have salmon and a yogurt. It's lunchtime, he can just go and, and sit at the table. And I can do this with multiple avatars, obviously. And it's a nice laid-back environment as well. It's not something that kids need to be speedy about. Um, they can just... And it's not a video, they're still active because we are militating against using iPads as videos. Sorry, I just have to do it. Yeah. I had to, I mean... And where are they going? Outside. They're going outside where it's safe. Yeah. And if... Let's see what happens if... Do you do something if I give you the tomato? Oh, she brings it to the rabbit. So, no, not the tomato. That one doesn't work. And if you can... First shot. Yeah, you're Incredible. so good. I'm so bad. Look, I tried... Oh, you can reset. But, and this really works. Um, so you can... If I decide to plant a seed, and then I fill up the tap. I fill up the. Um, oops! I went a bit too fast. And then it slowly. It slowly. Oh, weeds! So I tap the weeds and they disappear. Oh, that was right out of the garden, right? Didn't you? And it just grows. This goes into the compost. Yeah, exactly. This is inspired by nature, by Montessori That's nature. Right. That's what I was thinking. Of. Um, and this is also a real activity that we do in Montessori schools where we learn to wash the clothes. And again, you can just, you know, play around. Flush the toilet. Oh, let's put an avatar on there. Look. No oh boy. <laughs> and she needs to clean up part where they're learning, so we, we saw the literacy. This is the I Spy game from Montessori Letter Sounds. I spy with my little eye, something beginning with... Mm. Mm. Nut. So you'll find all your favorite games and, and many new ones.
In terms of record keeping, what kind of information are you collecting? <laughs> this parent section is protected by a parental gate. Here this is important as well because the app is quite heavy because it has so much content. Mm -hmm. So we've given people the possibility to delete games once their child has done it many times and is not going back yeah. to manage space on their device. So, and this has the record keeping. It'll tell how much you've completed. Yeah, so you can go dive into each section again and it will tell you the name of the, um, the activities and what they're for, what the pe uh, pedagogy behind it and if your child has done it enough times or not. And on the front page it just gives you an idea. Now I'm going through different profiles under my account of how much time each child has spent into each one of the four sections. So, could so this you, is like an overview. Could you use this in a classroom, in a school? Yes, of course. It's For a school you probably need more depth like this, but the overview is already a good... Um, or you could give it as a, an objective to a child, you know? Sure, but could... How many children can sign in? Forty. So, 40. so you can have a classroom. And the, your sweet spot age is probably four, five, and six, or? Yeah, exactly. I would even say three. Okay. Three, four, and five. And then it all, the, the thing is, as you know, every child is so different. So some children will start to look, to read at four, and some won't stop starting. And, you can, yeah, and with course. this, you can just go as, as to, according to their own rhythm. Congratulations, Valerie. This is a very exciting accumulation of many years of work. Yeah. It's called Montessori Preschool. It comes out in June. Yeah, end of June. All right. Thank you. Yay, see you soon.